Have you ever tried to work as an au pair and registered on these au pair sites where you could find host families that would love you to work for them? Well, in that case, you might have gotten emails from families who would offer you a great job while in reality, they're just scammers and all they want is your money. I'd like to give you a few tips on how to notice if that person who's writing to you is whether a scammer or not. The very first thing I'd mention is the amount of money they offer. If it's a lot, like a lot, that makes you go, whoa. Then it is indeed too good to be true. But they could be just a generous family, right? But it should be really suspicious. The second thing I'd mention is, out of experience, because I've gotten a lot of these emails too, um, it would be that they ignore whatever you say. Like, um, I ask questions and I don't get answers to them. Or they ask questions that I've already talked about in my previous emails. I think the way it works is that they have a lot of sample emails and they message to a lot of people. And when you reply, they're gonna be like, oh, I got a positive reply. I'm gonna send sample too. And they don't even take the time to read your emails. The third thing where you can be 99% sure that this person you're talking to is a scammer is when they say, I have a lawyer friend, or there's this agency and here's this email address and you should email them. And they're gonna help you get a visa or whatever. And um, then they're gonna send you all these fake documents and contracts and then they're gonna ask for a copy of your passport that's needless to say you should never send to anyone and eventually when you've done everything they asked for they're gonna ask for some fee some money for whatever reason and that's the time when you should be a hundred percent sure and positive that the person you've been talking to is just a scammer genuine families never ask for money it's not a family, it's just a guy behind his computer, most probably from Nigeria, hoping to get some money from you. And it's not only for au pairs, there are many kind of scams for many kind of people. There's a type of scam that's called the romance scam, where they're gonna send you a picture of some person, and they're gonna say stuff like, um, I love you so much. You're the meaning of my life. I love you more than my brothers and my sisters. All I need is some money for my uncle's recovery. And if it's any money, so I can travel to your country so we can meet and live together forever. And there is the other type of scam that I think most of you've heard about. The email that says, you won the lottery that you never entered yet. You won. All you have to do is to email this person and do this and do that and eventually pay a little amount of fee but it's going to be worth it because you're going to get millions of dollars for it. There is one thing that's the same in all kinds of scams and that's the urgency that they rush you into making decisions. you got to decide now because of this and that. They don't want you to think things over. And there are many other types of scams so I posted a link below in the description bar. It says antiscamnews.com where you can learn more about these scammers and their scams. And if you still don't know whether this person you've been talking to is a scammer or not, what you can do, at least, copy their email address and a piece of their email and paste it in Google. Because there are sites like scamwarners.com where people report these scammers to. And you know, they don't change the email sample just for you, so you might just find your person there. I hope this video helped at least one person because there are many scammers out there and they make billions of dollars a year because one out of ten person gets scammed. So always be suspicious, especially when you're an au pair, families never ask for money. So, so don't send no money to no stranger from the internet. There is an interesting thing I wanted to add to the end of the video. It's a site, 4198er.com where you can find scam baiters who, you know, when you see a scam, you either ignore it or delete, delete it. But what they do is to play along. So eventually they scam the scammers, which is pretty funny. I mean, it's a, it's a serious thing because we're talking about criminals, but 
those stories they post are pretty amusing and there are YouTube videos like that so if you'd like to learn even more you can check those out. I hope this video was helpful to someone.